Yo, what's up guys? The Silver King of the Night is currently worth 150,000 Robux, but I was able to purchase it for only 45 Robux. I was also able to get the scissors for 800 Robux, and now they're worth 60,000. I also got the Super Super Happy Face for only 1,700 Robux, which is now worth 120,000. It's crazy to look back at these items and see how much they've actually gone up over time. When it first came out, the Super Super Happy Face was only selling for about 200 Robux each. But if you go through this, you can see how much has actually gone up and how that selling price has gone up as well. And now it's selling for around 130,000 Robux. Same with the Silver King of the Night. It was originally selling for around 151 Robux, but if you go and look at the chart, it, it's went up so much and it's currently selling for around 150,000 on average. There's tons of items like this that I was actually able to buy for extremely cheap and are worth a lot more now. Sometimes I wish I could go back in a time machine or something and just keep those items that I know are gonna be worth a ton now. Even though now you don't see limited items coming out for only 45 Robux, you can still pick the right limited items and make a ton of profit. Investing limited items is one of the best ways to make profit without actually putting in any work. You just need to pick the right items and it'll do the work for you. There's a lot of different ways to tell if an item is actually a good investment on Roblox. You want to check how many available copies it has. You want to see what the best price is compared to the wrap. As you can see for this item, the best price is more than twice the amount of the wrap. So obviously that's a very good thing. And you also want to see how much of it is hoarded. You don't really want an item that has a big hoard in it because then that price is kind of artificial. So if you have an item that isn't hoarded, doesn't have a lot of available copies and has a high best price, that's probably going to be a good item to invest into. You also need to look at how the item actually looks. If the item is extremely ugly, it's probably not going to go up too much over time. You want to choose an item that looks pretty good and it'll be a lot more likely to actually go up. Even though I don't really expect any items to shoot up like the Silver King of the Night did, I think pretty much any item you invest into in the long term is going to do pretty well. The only limited items that are coming out now are the sponsored items, so a lot of the older limited items are getting kind of rarer because there's not any new ones releasing. And if you don't believe me that pretty much any limited item will actually go up, you can look through my purchases on my old account and compare the selling price of these items back then to what they're selling for now. Like literally any one of these items. I bought the Knight of the Ballad Abyss for 9,000 Robux and now it's selling for 38,000. I bought the Space here for 4,000, now it's selling for 9,400. Blizzard Beast Mode for only 21,999 and now it's selling for over 100,000 Robux. So if you plan on going inactive on Roblox or you just don't want to do too much trading, invest in some limited items because it's definitely going to go up over time even if you don't get them when they first come out. Even if you get late to the item, you'll still probably make profit if you wait a long time with it. It's definitely worked a lot for me in the past, so hopefully it can work for you guys as well. Even with some of the newer limited items that they're releasing, if you wait with those, they'll go up over time, as shown with the Gucci items and the KSI items. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed, and I hope it helped you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.